Today I'm going to show you how to check the lip pump motor brush, make sure they are good, um, and also show you how to um, replace them if they were bad. So um, here is the lip pump motor on a WP, Crown WP 3045, that's 45, and this is the brush. Uh, kit for it and this is some of the hand tool that you require to need to, uh, to to replace them so first of all um, you locate the top of the lip pump motor there's four bolt 10 uh, milli millimeters uh, metric and then take those off and then 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 that will separate the motor from the the block the lip block so I'm going to show you so after taking four bolt out the separate motor from the block so we not we, we don't work on this one right now but we do need to make sure there's a key that inside there and that, that go on to the motor. This is called keyway. Without this one right there, it's gonna be difficult. It's look like this. One side is going to on the motor shaft, like so. The other one is going to the pump, like so. I see there. Okay, so we keep this key with us. Do not lose them. So set them on size. Now we focus on the motors. So what's there left to really take them apart? So once you get the motors, this is the this is the uh, uh, the pump information, just in case you need it. Um, so it should be. Okay, just pull it apart like so. So that's the top of the motor. This is the bottom. Where it is the amateur. This is the amateur. This is the winding. So to really look at this one, you just push it up like so. It's separate from the housing like that. Okay, now you got to take it out and examine it. This is the breakaway view um, of the pump. So, okay, let's go together. This is the cap. That's what it looks like. This is the housing for the brush. Oh, wow. Look at that. It burned. Uh, it burned completely one brush. So, they got one, two, Three, the four one is burned off. So, just to show you, that get really hot in there. So, always examine your housing before you put them back. Now, this is just a housing for the motors with the magnet in. One thing we're looking for is make sure the magnet is in there, and make sure we clean them up with a rag, clean rag. And this is the amateur. So, now look at this one. This one is shown that they've been inside the freezer or cooler for a while. So rust is built up on them. So, and the amateurs here, close examination. It's, it's still in fair condition. The winding is look uh, still okay, but we're not going to use this amateur because it's rushes already. So now I have a uh, a good amateurs and winding here, just to show you by comparison next to each other. So this is what we look for. These are a sign of a moisture happening to the um, the winding and amateurs as well. So. We're not going to use this one, we're going to use this one right here. 
Now this one close to me is a fair good condition housing uh, for the uh, brush motor pump. Inspects both sides. And this is compared to this one, it's already messed up. So just to show you different views of what is burn housing on a motor brush uh, look like. Okay, I just bring this one in. This is a learn arrow. This is I I, I pull one out on a pump. This is bad. Uh, obviously, this uh, tech has already been replacing the brush. One thing that um, that's going wrong with this is that the brush here, they when the installation is put them in, they were too rough on it. The chips. They chip, so when they go onto a, a motor, they don't wear evenly, so they act out like the high amp and they start burning up the fuses. So this is fairly decent one to look like, both sides, and try to not to, uh, when you install them back on the amateur, try not to um, be in rough with it, so this is no-no. Uh, this one is yes using a clean rack wipe down your amateurs and your 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 winding on the motor make sure the goal is trying to get as much dirt and grease off of it as much as possible and also if there is any shaving metal you wanna you know you wanna get them off because it's not good for uh, when you put them back and they they will cause problem um, like this I got two examples I show you okay this is a amateur that has been uh, rebuilt but the problem is they have some shaving in there and it could cause in the separation of the winding inside the motor and also you can see this one right here Hey, we got moisture get into the amateur and it's burning up okay and I got another one to show you uh, at first glance at it it's looked like a very uh, new amateur but a close examination the winding it gets separated from the winding housing and it's causing it burn and also broken the wires right here so it, it's there there so make sure you check all of them before you you will put them back together this one has been cleaned up it's ready to go to put the brushes on it that's how you determine if it, there is a bad um, armature the motor winding and that's basically what I have I want the next video I'm going to show you how to put together a motor brush assembly, a motor brush um, into the motor and put them back together. Thank you for watching. Ciao.